New data shows there's been a decline nationwide in the amount of volunteers at nonprofit organizations. And this has been especially true after the pandemic. And now local organizations are doing their best to meet the need for volunteers. So news reporter Kajaja Hawkins joins us live in the studio asking some local organizations questions about this growing need. Kajaja. Some organizations are managing to keep their numbers high, while others are having a stronger need for people to step up. Honestly, we are probably at about 20% of what we would like to see. Christina Gosney is the program director for the Boys and Girls Club of Dayton, and she says the center is far from their intended volunteer goal. She says they're actually searching for more help, and their numbers are expected to drop even lower with the summer approaching and a crop of current college volunteers wrapping up their service just as the summer arrives. They're not alone. The local chapter of the American Red Cross says that they also need summer volunteers. It is critical, but we are not, you know, we have a lot of great people who are doing great things already, but we would love to have more people on that team helping them out. We're trying to get more folks to sign up now to go through the training and all the processes to get ready so they can take up some volunteer hours this summer and take the load off of the people who've been here for you know months or years already. The Red Cross says it's fortunate and doesn't need as much help, but the Boys and Girls Club of Dayton says that it needs volunteers just to fill their daily needs. And they say it's worth it, adding that volunteer experience can be both fulfilling for children and for those who help. It's so lovely having you coming in every day and having kids greet you with a smile and a hug. You know, so that 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 bit is, is always fulfilling. That that moment where you know that you're making a difference in a child's life and you are a safe adult for them. Um, and I think like ultimately that is the most rewarding part of this experience is just knowing that you are creating safety and you are creating support. You can visit our website for more information on how to volunteer to either of these organizations. And coming up on Five on Two, we'll hear from an organization that says that they've been successful in their volunteer recruitment efforts. Live in the studio, Kajaja Hawkins, Two News.